When reviewing the name Unity Atom Network Player, the Dutch distributor Latham Audio also lent me the Unity Core Server. I didn't promise to review it, but I couldn't resist looking at it. And I know now why and where that core does have a clear value. The core is a ripper, player and UPnP server which might sound all new and vague to you. So let's see where it fits in a stereo setup. First it needs to be connected over your network router to the internet. This is for streaming from services like Spotify, Tidal and Internet Radio. It also means that it will be connected to other devices in the network, for instance network players like the Unity Atom that provides the playback over loudspeakers. All control is done using the name app on a tablet or smartphone. You can also connect USB storage media to the input on the front or the back. If you have a computer or NAS with UPnP server program running, it can connect with that too. The Unity Core has the same high quality housing as its sibling, the Atom, built from very thick brushed black anodized aluminium. It measures 214 by 265 by 95 mm and weighs a hefty 7 kilos, just like the Atom. The front holds a USB-A connector for storage media, the well-lit name logo, the standby button, the eject button, the slot loading CD drive and a hole that hides the emergency eject button. On the rear we find an IEC main socket, the network connection, a second USB-A connector for storage media and a speed of digital output on BNC connector. An adapter to RCA comes with the unit. Last but not least there is a caddy that holds the hard disk. This disk can be upgraded by the user when needed. Name advisor Seagate Skyhawk and Western Digital Purple hard disk for the core. The review sample had a 2 terabyte Skyhawk mounted. When opened, something you are not supposed to do, the TIAC optical drive becomes visible just as the hard disk in the caddy. Both are mounted in rubber to lower acoustical noise and the hard disk can be replaced by the user. When the drives are removed we see the toroidal transformer wrapped in cloth and mounted in a composite to dampen vibrations. The electronics of the power supply is mostly hidden in a black plastic box with the exception of the relatively large electrolytic capacitor. The legend on the circuit board describes about any section on it save the processor. I do see local voltage stabilizations, a DC-DC converter and the build quality you expect from a premium brand. There is a single clock oscillator for the SPDIF output and the firmware is stored on an SD card that is not accessible by the user. The only way to operate the core is using the name app on tablet or smartphone. Both Android and iOS versions are available for free. Nothing wrong with that and the advantage is that when you also have the Atom, you use the same app to control both. When you start it up, it shows all name Unity products in your network. After choosing the core, the main screen becomes visible. Switching to the Atom is a matter of tapping the name Unity Cortex top center to change to other Unity devices like the Atom. If you go to the server screen, we see I have an absurd amount of servers, including a Sonos network, a Minim server, two Synology servers and the name Unity Core. You can pick any source you want here. Going back to the Unity Core, you see only the music on the core can be approached. Ripping is very easy. Go to the ripping page, insert the disk and you are set. Only when the metadata cannot be found on the web, you need to manually enter the specifics. Talking about metadata, when you want to use WAV as format, the core places a little file containing the metadata in the same folder as a way around the restricted metadata capabilities of the WAV format. The metadata can be added and edited in the app. 
there is no direct judgement of the sound quality. All is done not to upset the network streamer, which most likely is the Unity Atom, by using a linear power supply and dampening vibrations. Due to the heavy aluminium housing there is no forced cooling needed, so the core can be placed next to the Atom, with which it also forms an aesthetical match. For that is the most likely application, a partner for the Unity products. And as such it works like a charm and is all you expect from a premium product. That's it for this week. There will be another video next Friday as always at 5 pm Central Euro European time if I manage. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be warned when new videos are out. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that support this channel financially, it keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.